Hi everyone, welcome back to Hope and Coffee. I am Hope and Coffee, and today I am kind of doing a little bit of a follow-up to one of the episodes that I will probably drop before this, and it's kind of a tag along to visiting family, because when you go visit family, you also frequently go back to your old stomping grounds, so to speak. And I grew up in north central Louisiana, and so a lot of my friends are still there, the people that I hold near and dear to my heart. And sadly, for this particular trip, I didn't get to make plans to go see them. I just wasn't in town long enough to be able to go see them. And my car was out of commission one day because my dad and I were redoing my brakes. So after we did the brakes, it was just, we were so incredibly hot that we just, I, honestly, we were drained at that point. Just the humidity and the heat just sucked us dry. So we really just kind of stayed at the house and I missed getting to see everyone. But one thing we did do was go to the mall. And I grew up going to the mall pretty much every weekend and pretty much all the time. So during the summer when my mom was working um, and my brother and I were at an age, I would say probably mid early teens, we would sometimes go with mom to work. She would go to work and we would go see movies and we would watch a matinee. We would go play at the arcade. We would go shopping whatever all that we wanted to do until our dad came and picked us up that afternoon. And it was always really fun. We always had a great time, but my first job was also at that mall. And I was what I was what I called a mall rat. A mall rat is one of those people who works at the mall and just kind of hops from location to location working because you meet so many people that you end up making connections and so you find out this place has got some part-time this place has got some part-time so you start picking up shifts when you can and there was one point where I was working three different jobs in the mall and they didn't conflict with each other because they didn't have like they didn't sell the same things so one was a food place one was a, like a, a jewelry accessories place and then one was like a shoe place. So none of them sold the same sorts of items and they all knew about each other. So it was, um, I was able to work at all of those different jobs at the same time. And I, I mean, if you're curious as to where I work, I, I'll put them, you can ask me down below if you want, but I think I worked at no less than 10 different locations in that mall throughout my career. And I no longer work in retail, but I know for at least, gosh, I would say almost 14 years of my life, I worked in some sort of retail capacity where, um, Again, I was a mall rat. I knew that the hallways that like would lead you out that were behind the stores that would get you out um, if like the front doors were locked because of course be working in the mall, there's always service entrances and exits. At least there were when I was there. And as an employee, we could go in and it wasn't a problem to get to our store to be able to open it or close it down and not have to go through the main exits usually. Um, but man, when I was at that mall this past weekend, it was almost kind of sad because I'll frequently have dreams of that mall and I'll dream of it looking different or like they've put down red carpet or like everything looks like it's made of wood. I don't know. I'll just have some very odd dreams just because I, I have so many memories of that place. And I'm worried that like, I know traditional malls are dying, at least it seems like in some places they are, but I've kind of also heard that malls are starting to kind of come back. Come back into fashion, come back into style, come back into be a place where you, it's a, I don't want to call it a one-stop shop, but in a way, kind of. Um, Mall of Georgia in, uh, in the Buford area, awesome place, like it's, I, it's got a couple of empty spots, but not very many, and they've got some great stores. And I just think the mall that I grew up going to, and I'll say it's the Pecanland Mall, it's um, 
just doesn't have all of those anchor stores anymore that um, keep it thriving the way it used to. Even half the food court is not really food anymore. Like some of it was more retail instead of food. And a couple of the favorite shops that I used to like going into were also gone. Now I did find an amazing boba tea place in there that was absolutely delicious and one of my favorite fast food places is also in there so that's where we went to go grab and I don't even eat a lot of fast food but there's one particular fast food place that's um, definitely like in Louisiana and Mississippi that I love. And it's so hard to find because I think the closest one to here in Huntsville is about two hours away. But that was one of the things that I told Dad I wanted to get while I was there was I wanted to get that particular fast food restaurant. And no, it's not like an In-N-Out and it's not like a Whataburger. Um, but <laughs> it's none of that. It's just, it's just my favorite fast food place and um, I don't eat fast food often so when I get it that's usually the one that I crave but I um, I was just kind of sad because I really thought that malls really deserve like I don't know they deserve to come back in style and come back in fashion I had so much fun working at that mall when I was younger and not only did it seem to have a lot of things to offer. It had bookstores and it had, of course, music stores aren't really like in fashion anymore when people can get all their music kind of streaming service wise, but we had tons of movie stores and music stores. We had clothing galore, accessories. We had um, s small retail locations such as like mom and pop locations, but we also had bigger real retail location like chains and franchises. And now it just seems like there's more empty spots. Some of the bigger spots are far more empty. And I just wish that they would be filled with um, one of these stores that could maybe do a really good job in there. I don't really know right off the top of my head what could go in there. Because I'm not really like... I'm not a retail mall magnate of any kind that would know the logistics of what might survive. But even some of the little strips around the mall, like there's a couple that are close by it that are doing pretty pretty good. And they've got like a Best Buy and an Ulta and a Kirkland's and Kohl's and stuff on the outside of the mall. But they don't have those sorts of things on the inside of the mall right now. And I'm like, if they were just inside the mall, then again, you get that one-stop shop to be able to come in, do your shopping, and you get all the things you need. I remembered at Christmas time, people would just, you know, have bags and bags and bags because they were able to do all of their shopping at the gift shops and the clothing shops and shoe stores and accessories and candle shops and things like that. Um, I even remember performing in that mall when I was like in first grade? First or second grade, I remember doing a couple of little musical numbers in the mall, like there's an atrium area, and um, we used to perform there sometimes. They would put stages where there used to be fountains, and um, we would dance around on those. So I don't know. I just had some really fond memories of it, but I wish they would bring back real malls. Like I wish the mall in general was not like a dying entity or if it's dying if that one particularly is dying then maybe they need to think about a new and upcoming sort of like thing that they can because i think it's a good focal point for the town it just needs to be gentrified almost and with that i think it would do a really good job just gentrifying that area bringing back some retail to that area and then having it right there along an I, the i-20 corridor so people could shop and I, I don't know i just miss it and i just was kind of thinking about that while i was on my drive home yesterday but until next time i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you all on the next page